What is up Spartans? Batman here to review the third book in the Halo series, First Strike. Let's dive in. Eric Nyland, if you remember, is the one who wrote The Fall of Reach, which kind of kickstarted both the books and the lore. While he didn't adapt Halo Combat Evolved, which became as the book known as The Flood, he did come back to write the third book, First Strike. It was released on December 2nd, 2003, almost a full year before Halo 2. So one of the great things about Eric Nyland is that since he had written Halo, The Fall of Reach, it had all the same characters and settings for the most part. It kind of tells us what happens next for the Spartans, not just Master Chief, but the Spartans as a whole. Who survives, who dies, and gives us a little bit more background and personality on some of them. And the thing I really love about this book is how it kind of blends what happens with The Fall of Reach and Combat Evolved into one bigger story. Now, one thing I really liked was how when it does come back to Master Chief in the book, it picks right up where he's in the he's in the ship after they left the Longsword, and they're kind of floating through space. They come across, and I'm not trying to get too much into spoiler territories here or too far into it, but just to give you an idea, they come across a group of human survivors that includes Sergeant Johnson, which explains why he was in CE and Halo 2, even though pretty much everybody died. Master Chief actually questions him because he wants to know how he survived the flood, specifically from seeing him on Jenkins' head cam. Which is a really cool story because we get to see the evolution of Master Chief and Sergeant Johnson's relationship really develop in this particular book. As well as with the Spartans who are on Reach, while Master Chief is floating in space, so to speak, the other Spartans help Dr. Halsey and try to defend and protect her. And they come across a Forerunner crystal that becomes a big part of the story in this book. I'm not going to go into spoilers about that, just in case you haven't read it and you're, you're thinking about it. But this book was really good. It feels just like Eric Nyland's first book. It's not as good as the first book, but that's because I'm more of an origin guy. But I really enjoyed reading this book, and I've, li I've read it a couple times and listened to it recently. It feels very organic to the story that was told in Fall of Reach and Halo Combat Evolved. So if you'd only read or played that content... You would feel right at home in this one. You don't have to have any other background knowledge. You don't have to have read even Halo of the Flood, because if you played CE, which if you're here, you probably have, then you already know the story. So I just felt like it was a great 1.5 story, where I felt like you could say Halo of the Fall of Reach is pretty much 0.5, and then Halo 1 is 1. This would be Halo 1.5, and it leads directly into Halo 2 with a final chapter that kind of details some hints about Halo 2. So for me, I really liked it. I didn't like it as much as I liked the first book. I would probably give this book a solid 7 because it really sets up a lot of things that are explored in further books, in particular with the Spartans. I'm not going to go into detail, but with the other Spartans, it definitely sets things up in that direction and Dr. Halsey and everything like that. So for me, I really enjoyed that aspect of it and seeing how Master Chief dealt with the aftermath of the Halo. And that's all we have today. If you enjoyed this review, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching TST Gaming, and until next time, just play.